good morning everyone it's emily and i am back with a, another video so um before we get started i just want to welcome all of my uh new subbies i have gotten a lot of new subbies and i just want to welcome you guys to my channel and to, to the family i just want to welcome you guys to the family and um thank you guys for just taking the time out to uh, watch my videos and rock with me that way okay so uh and also you know i'm not gonna forget my day ones um thank you guys for continuing to support my channel and um i always have a couple that always leave me comments down in the comment box and i appreciate it you guys um i didn't get back to you guys on the last video but i did read every each and every one of y'all's comments on that last video and I appreciate you guys for chiming in and um, just telling me what you think that I should do with my stimulus because that's what I asked you guys in last uh, in, in the last uh, video what I should do so I took some of you guys advice I did not take all of y'all advice but I did take some of your advice and I applied it to my third stimulus here. So this video is about what I did with my third stimulus check, okay? So the third stimulus check, I received $2,800. That was $14 for myself and $1,400 for my dependent child. So that was my total there, okay? So the first thing I did was I applied $500 towards my emergency fund. And that was the number one thing that um, I was, uh, that y'all commented on in the last video was to apply some money towards my emergency fund. So I now have $2,000 in my emergency fund. And um, I want to continue to add to my emergency fund in the future. But right now we are going to uh, settle with five hundred. I mean, two thousand dollars for right now. Okay. So I did. Um, Y'all recommended that I pay off a debt or pay off debt with my stimulus, and I did. I paid off one debt, and that was my Capital One credit card, and it the balance was three hundred and sixty-five dollars and thirty-three cents. Yeah, your girl paid it off, y'all. But guess what came came back on me? The interest. I owe like six dollars six dollars in interest. And I'll pay that with my next paycheck. So yeah, that interest always tends to come back to bite you in the butt, right? And that's what happened. I paid it off and I looked at my uh Capital One out and it said I owe them six dollars. So I will pay that six dollars so that I will have a zero balance. Okay? So yeah, um, I hope you guys like my nails. I did get my nails done, and I need a fill in. Y'all can y'all know that I have short nails. I am a nail biter. So yeah, I, that is one of the things that I did do with my stimulus. I did some things for myself because in the last video, I told you guys that I had been down and depressed and. I did treat myself to a mini makeover so that was one of the things I decided to do was to get my nails done so it's coming up on week two and I need a fill in so yeah but anyway um, my nails was also inspired by life with Quisha she is a budgeter here on YouTube and uh, she has a low income as well and I try to support other um, YouTubers that does that do budgeting, but I mainly like to support the ones like me that have a low income because we don't really get any play on YouTube like that. And everybody is not making bank on YouTube. Everybody is not working, making 20 plus an hour. Some of us is making a uh, minimum wage or... A little bit above minimum wage so yeah I just want to shout out all the ones that uh have a realistic budget not and I'm gonna say realistic is because um it's some of us that we we uh we got a 
um, get from Peter to Paul sometimes. We got to pull from Peter to Paul sometimes to make it. Or we got to decide what's more important than something else. And sometimes things have to wait till the next check. But anyway, let me go on because I will go off on a ramble, you guys. But anywho, um, the next thing that I did was um, I did a travel. I added some money to my travel fund. And which was two hundred dollars. Now, um, I was telling you guys that I really wanted to go down to Atlanta for spring break to see my best friend. But um, realistically, this was gonna probably get spent on the trip. So, um, at least fourteen hundred dollars was gonna be spent on the trip. And I felt like I was in a place where I did not need to spend all of that on a trip. So. Um, I decided to just do something with my daughter on spring break and that's where uh, Asher's activities come in at, and we'll talk about that in a minute so I decided not to take a trip right now but I did want to put some money in my travel fund for a future trip so I put $200 into my travel fund and my best friend decided to come and see me on spring break for the weekend so I will still get to see her okay so I did not take you guys advice and plan a trip or go on a weekender but I will be doing that in the future so I did not take you guys advice on that okay extras fund um I put two hundred dollars in extra fund extra fund is basically an account that I have that I just throw extra money in for unbudgeted things that come up or items that come up. This is a budget buster for me. And that's why I had to create this fund because I always have unbudgeted things that come up and then I don't have money for it. And then I'm pinching and pulling out of other sinking funds. And I want to stop that this year. So I created the extras fund. So extra fund got $200. Okay, Asher activities. So, I was telling you guys that I wanted to be able to do something with her over the break. And I'm probably going to invite one of her little girlfriends with her. So, I budgeted out $100 to either take her to Frankie Fun Park, skating, get her nails or her toes done, or just do something fun with her. So, I budgeted out hundred dollars for that and that went into her sinking fund gifts and birthday got a hundred and fifty dollars this is another budget buster for me because there's always birthdays coming up or something that i need to get a gift for and usually i do not have the money inside of my checking account i do i don't have the money to budget so i have to save it in advance for these things that come up like birthdays and anniversaries or wedding gifts or what have you something to that nature um so emily fun emily fun got four hundred dollars um the reason why i got four hundred dollars is because i have some things that are coming up like like i told you my friend is coming into town this weekend and we're going to go out and I want to purchase a new dress and some shoes as well as get my nails redone, get my fill in and get my eyelashes done. So I wanted to have some extra money set aside for myself, which I'm not going to spend the whole 400 on that weekend, but I just needed some things to make that weekend happen. And yeah, so I put $400 aside for Emily fun okay so I had a personal matter come up and I had to put, uh, spend three hundred and thirty four dollars and sixty seven cents and I don't really want to talk about what the personal matter was let's just say that um yeah it has something to do with my future divorce that I'm going to be filing so <sighs> But anywho, I could have used this money for another category, but since I did have that personal matter come up, I did have this money and I went ahead and took care of that. But I'm hoping that this will go away so that I won't have this issue come up in the future. And 
yeah, y'all, just make sure whoever you met, Mary, is. And I can't even say the one that you're going to be with for the rest of your life because you just don't ever know. But just make sure they're not loco. That's all I'm going to say. Because you'll have to deal with that person on so many different levels throughout your life. So, yeah. Anywho, um, TV. So, I did go ahead and purchase a TV. I got. I told you guys that my daughter wanted a TV for her room. So, I took the TV from downstairs and um, put it in my room. And I gave her the TV out of my room because it's smaller. And then I purchased a new TV for our living room. So, I got a 55-inch Samsung 4K TV. And it came up to about $500. So... $500 went towards me purchasing a TV. So, yeah, we did get something out of it. We did purchase ourselves something out of the stimulus. So, I think I did pretty good with that because we got a want. We took care of some needs and we got a want. So, yeah, I think I did pretty good, you guys. Then I had some money where I purchased a, a one or two items from Amazon. And that was about $50. So, that is what I ended up spending my third stimulus check on. Um, and I took I took in consideration of everything that you guys said. Um, and I know a lot of people was big on the emergency fund, and I was big on that as well. So I don't just have five hundred dollars in my emergency fund. I do have. A total of two thousand dollars in my emergency fund so i'm gonna come back in my next video you guys and i'm going to tell you guys i'm going to share with you guys my sinking a fund account i'm going to share with you guys the amounts that i have in my sinking funds so yeah um i want to say thank you guys just thank you for all your wonderful and great advice and uh i hope you guys uh got your stimulus check because I know a lot of people did not have not st still gotten their stimulus check yet and I received mine on March the 17th and if you have not received your stimulus check go on um irs.gov and check on where is I think it's where's my money or where's my refund and you can get your tax transcript and you just have to have verify your identification you have your identity with uh you have to have certain account information to verify your identity and you can actually order your transcript online and you can pull up and you can see um what uh, what the date is of your actual um deposit or when they mailed out your check or the card or whatever but um but yeah so i received mine i hope you guys received yours i want to know what did y'all do with your stimulus check so for the ones that like to leave me comments and y'all might not do videos which i'm going to encourage you guys to do videos because i really like to see what you guys are working with as far as your budget um but if not tell me down below what did you guys do with your stimulus check how much you got and how much what did you do with your stimulus check and if you don't want to tell how much you got that's fine but over here we keep it real with numbers all of these are all these numbers are real numbers and um i had uh, some comments of people saying that um they love my transparency and i try to be as transparent as possible with you guys and sometimes I think about um, maybe some of this might come back to bite me in the butt if the wrong person get the information. Um, but I, I just feel like I should be transparent because um, it could be someone else in my situation with the same income and they might not be making it. They might be doing a lot of pulling from Peter to Paul. They might be having to take out check advances, loans. And over here, we don't take out check advances or loans. We budget our money. So I just want to show other people that even on a low income, you can still survive. So um, 
that's why I'm very transparent about my money. But um, sometimes I feel like if this runs up on someone that I know or somebody that I know run up on this, then they, they, could, they basically see all of my money and they might try to ask to borrow money or they might uh, throw shade at me or whatever. So I, I kind of be reluctant about sharing sometimes, but hey, um, a lot of people don't know about my channel that I know that I conversate with or, you know, um, they're, you know, that I talk to or whatever. They don't know about my channel. So I, I decide, you know, a lot of times I don't, I don't tell people about my YouTube and, you know, this is a hobby for me and I don't tell people about my YouTube because I don't want to feel, uh, ashamed or don't want to feel, um, funny in front of the camera. I want to be able to, uh, present this stuff and be comfortable as possible. So, um, I choose not to share with people that I know or my friends or Facebook friends or whatever about my YouTube. There are a select few that I do because I met them on YouTube and they became a friend of mine. And I have never met them, but I, you know, they're still a friend to me. But anyway, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to come back. I'm a little bit backed up with videos. I'm going to come back and share my paycheck from this week on March 30th. If I got paid. I'm going to share that. And I'm going to share with you guys my sinking fund accounts and what I have in them. And leave a comment down below if you guys would like to see a video on my debts. So, yeah. So, if you guys want to hear my debt story, leave a comment down below because I have quite the story about how I accumulated $55,000 in debt. So if you guys want to hear, see a video on that, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to thumbs up my video. And if you ha if this is your first time joining, um, don't, um, don't hesitate to go over and subscribe to my channel. And I love you guys and I hope you have a blessed day.